tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Ferguson is five years the elder. He is four inches taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the challenger, Tony El Capui. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! UFC belt online. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Sixteen. A lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity greatest heavyweight fighters to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. Close guard. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Elbow lands for Tony Ferguson. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to go ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build... Oh, he's going for his arm now. Oh, wow, oh! He might get a finish here! And this might just be a matter of time. tonight here by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. Fights a wild round and a 
wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Tony Nakakuni Ferguson. Well, what else can be said about Tony Ferguson? Congratulations to El Kukui, who gets yet another UFC win here tonight. And I think the conditioning is where I'd at least like to start. I mean, this man has cardio for days. Looked like he could have gone 10 rounds here tonight. Didn't need 50 minutes to accomplish the goal. Tony Ferguson celebrating with...